If you take a look through the latest mock drafts, plenty of draft gurus expect the Ravens to target a wide receiver with their first round pick. Now this is always fun to talk about. It gets the fans all excited and fired up. And the most popular receiver projections for the Ravens with their 27th pick are LSU's Terrace Marshall Jr. or Minnesota's Rashad Bateman. Now this can make sense. The Ravens have talked about finding ways to upgrade their passing game this offseason and give Lamar Jackson some more weapons around him. But somebody who does not see the Ravens using that 27th pick on a wide receiver is the NFL Network's Daniel Jeremiah. He's one of the best draft experts out there. And while he likes both Marshall and Bateman, when he looks at his overall big board, he has Marshall as his 37th graded player and Bateman as his 48th graded player. So he doesn't think the Ravens will use pick number 27 on them. And he talked about this a little more when he joined us yesterday for an episode of the Lounge Podcast. You know, if you are going to go wide receiver, just because as every year, there's just so many of them. Um, to me, I think you, you get somebody else to pay a premium to come up for maybe an offensive lineman uh, or one of those pass rushers. I, I think you would have an option to kind of slide back a little bit if you'd like to do that. So if you're going to take a wide receiver, to me, I don't really see the value in sticking and picking. I, I would think at that point in time, you trade back, get some extra value, and uh, you'll have plenty of good options there in the second round. So it's really interesting insight from Daniel, and he just was great. He's so fantastic at breaking down the draft and talking about all the different routes the Ravens could go this year. I recommend you check out that full interview. It's posted for you now wherever you get your podcast. Just search Baltimore Ravens Podcast Network. That's it for me on Final Drive, but thanks for watching. I'll see you again on Monday. Actually, one more thing before I go. I want to make sure you know you can save money on your car insurance this weekend. It's nice and easy. All you got to do is visit Geico.com today.